everybody welcome back to my channel i hope i can record this all on this phone but i'm currently in our new house and i want to do a very quick house tour before we have anything in here um i do have the dogs in here now and i haven't started bringing the stuff off the car but i'm about to because i have to go pick up my wife here in a second but let's go ahead and start this little house tour it's going to be very informal if you definitely want another one you don't like this one let me know i'll film another one because i'm filming this on my phone um i do also have my camera but let's go ahead and get into this video if you haven't done so please give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and welcome to our colorado life okay i'm so excited i'm so excited Alrighty, so this is the front door right here the front door area is super cute i'll show y'all all um on my way out but right as soon as you walk in we have like a little um ledge right here super cute it separates into that little family room here we come this way and we have the stairs this door is to the garage which actually we have a good size garage it's pretty spacey and then if you walk into the garage, there's not a storage area in here, but it is a very big garage. We can definitely fit both cars in here for sure. It is um, like a automatic, I guess, gate. So I don't have to open it by myself. Just press that little sucker right there. Um, we're gonna come into the family room. This is a family room. It has such good lighting in here. I have none of the lights on, just the windows and it's great but coming this way right here we have the powder room the downstairs restroom this is just like a little guest bathroom just has a little toilet there and then over this way it has the vanity and the sink i think they actually replaced all these lights which i'm so excited because those are so much nicer than what i saw but i love the little um structure up in there it's super cute i can't wait to decorate this house we're walking more this way out of the restroom. We have the kitchen area here. It is a smaller um, kitchen from other house plans, but honestly, I do not mind it at all. Okay, so, sorry, they came by to switch a folder out, but this is a kitchen. I'm actually really excited that it's a little smaller because one, it's already bigger than our apartment for sure. But let me show you and then I'll explain to you why. Um, we have some cabinets up there. It did come with a microwave, a stove, um, here we have the pantry, which is super nice. It does go in very deep, so we can put like, you know, the dog stuff in there if we need to, and it'd be a little hidden. We do have a little nook right here, which I'm excited. I think this is where I'm going to put my Nespresso and um, some of my coffee things. If not, I'm going to put it over here. But we do have a fridge here freezer and i was worried it wasn't gonna have an ice maker but it does so i'm super excited about that little fridge they left some little drinks in here but i actually might try that tango mango Ooh, let's go back baby i have to give it a little clean but we have a fridge there coming this way we have the sink and then the dishwasher on this side There is a little bit of texture here, but that's 100% okay because what I'm ex gonna explain to you, it's gonna make sense. Um, we have the dishwasher here, and I need to clean. This. I need to clean everything actually. So on this side of the kitchen, we have the dining area. I absolutely hate this um, light fixture, but we're gonna make do. We're gonna act like it's not there. The dining area. And then from the dining area, you come this way and we have the living room area. This dog is already sticking her head in all the blinds. I'm gonna have to pick them up, but <laughs> super high ceilings, which I love. I hear that um, it gets a little cold in the winter and a little hot in the summer, but that's totally okay. We are fine. The reason I'm excited that the kitchen is a little smaller when it comes to like cabinet space and that, we already make do with the tiny bit of cabinet space we had in the apartment. Um, this, I want to put contact paper on all the countertops and then maybe contact paper on the actual cabinets as well. I've been seeing a lot of like DIY, um, renter friendly renovations and I really want to put like a marble contact paper, um, on the counters and then maybe like a black contact paper on the, um, cabinets right here. So I'm excited that this is a little bit smaller because some of the layouts that I was looking at, the kitchen, the cabinets wrapped 
all the way around and then it also had like so much above like the stove and microwave area so that's why i'm excited that the cabinet space is a little bit smaller um like i said it has way more storage than our apartment um i'm a little sad because i'm used to like the more modern type looking kitchens because of apartment living um they are constantly renovating it but plus side though we did get all new flooring and all new carpet so I'm pumped because we thought it was gonna be carpet everywhere. Thank God it's not because with two dogs, vacuuming everywhere sucks. And I can, um, I don't have to sweep the floor either. The vacuum that we have picks up um, the dirt and stuff on tile floor. So this does have a second story and I'm guessing that's where all the bedrooms are. Well, I'm sure because there's no bedrooms down here, but let's go take a look at them. It's super cool. It looks like they totally updated um, like the thermostat and stuff. It's all like, smart so i wonder if i can like hook it up to my phone so i'm super excited about that a little modern sticking through actually before we go upstairs let me show y'all the back yard we have a backyard so this is the back door right here um i don't want to open it all the way because of a harley but we do have oh it has a door it has a little patio area here and then um if you can see, I don't know if you can see. I'm gonna go out if I open it, but we have the little backyard there and then that little um, road looking thing is a track. So I believe the track goes all the way around the housing and might even be going almost all around base because I saw people walking the other day. So we have easy access right to the track. I can literally walk outside and start running and then that's our view. So not too much roads, no houses behind us, which I'm so excited about. The only thing we need to work on doing is getting a little fence or something that we can hook Harley up because because we are like in a duplex type of house. Okay, back babies. In a duplex uh, type of house. So we do have neighbors and I don't want the dogs getting too close to the neighbors because yesterday the neighbors came out and they were like little babies. And Harley's not mean, she just jumps and I don't want her to like scratch them or something. So yeah, that's that. Let's go upstairs now. I'm trying to do this quickly because I have to go pick up my wife. Here we have the stairs. All new carpet, which I'm super pumped about. I hate carpet, but if it has to be upstairs and it's new, I'm super grateful. It does have a little two-way walkway. Here we are, the overview. It has some closets there. Bedrooms that way. We circle around. This is all open, so we need to be careful with the dogs. Good thing we don't have any cats because I feel like cats are crazy. A bedroom here which we're gonna go into now i'm just giving you all a little overview and a restroom actually super excited about this uh, my wife might not use it but i've been saying i want to get a desktop so i will definitely put it here or if not i do have a cricket all that and this is a big area i can definitely put all my stuff here sorry wife but it's mine okay we're gonna head over into the guest bedrooms this is guest bedroom one Look at that carpet. Up to the corner of guest bedroom one. There's the dogs running around. We have a closet here. And it is one of the sliding closets. Ooh, it slid easy, so that's cool. Closet there. You can definitely step into it. Great. Okay, we're walking out of guest bedroom one. We're gonna go right into guest bedroom two, which is right next door. Another overview. This one looks a little bigger, of course. It might be like an office area if we don't turn it into a bedroom because it is smaller than this one. This one's bigger. So this is the main guest room that we're going to put a bed in and stuff. We have the front of the house is there. It's a good little size. It's definitely bigger for sure. Hey, walk into the closet. It's the same type of slide closet. I'm so glad that that slides very easy out of guest bedroom two and we are going to the master but before we hit the master we do have a guest restroom here turn the light it's a big restroom this is bigger than our apartment restroom but i also want to um contact paper the sink there right, walking out of the guest bedroom we have these closets i hate these type of closets but both of our apartments have these type of doors oh this is the laundry room oh a little tough to open this door, but it's okay. A big size laundry room, actually, which I'm so excited that it's upstairs. I'm guessing this table behind me is to fold clothes and stuff, but we have that. I'm not sure. 
walk out of that, we have the master restroom. Let's go ahead and turn on this light. So we have a his and her sink here. They also changed the lighting in here, which I'm so excited. I looked at them, so sorry. Two huge mirrors, which I love. And then we also have a side mirror over here. Coming this way, we have the shower. Again, I love the shape of that. I probably will grow to hate it, but I love it as of right now. A nice size tub. The toilet area here, lots of space. I love that. And then we have, of course, the storage closet right here. Awesome. Walking out of the guest bedroom, we have a huge walk-in closet right here. Let me turn on the light in here. Callie and I don't have too much clothes and what we do have, we don't wear. So this is plenty of space for us as of right now. And then of course you can walk in. And then we have another rack here. It's huge, I'm so excited about this. Walking out of the closet. And then this whole area closes off so all this is within the bedroom, which is awesome. We have the master bedroom here. Look at that doorway, cute. Walk into the master bedroom. It's honestly bigger than our bedroom now, I think. I'm thinking. So here's the bedroom, ceiling fans, which Kat's gonna be so excited because she loves ceiling fans. <laughs> We have, actually have lights in here. At our past two apartments, we didn't have a light in the bedroom. We had to settle for lamps, but I'm so excited. This is so nice. And then this is the view from the outside. I went ahead and picked up those blinds for you, but as I was saying, um, where the grass is, of course, our backyard. And then the, that's the track that I was telling y'all about. This is just a higher view. And that's um, kind of some of the city that we're in, but all the grass area is the base. So it's huge. I'm gonna take the dogs with us when we go pick up Cal, so I have their harnesses and stuff on. Where are you? What are you doing downstairs by yourself? <laughs> but that's the whole house, you guys. I hope y'all are super excited. I am super excited. I can't wait to decorate this place, especially during the holidays and stuff. Um, Cal wants to get a little pit to put outside, so we're gonna be having some good content coming, and I'm so excited. I'll I'll try and um, document everything that I um, do when it comes to like changing things, like the kitchen and stuff like that. We can't do too much because this is, of course, a rented house, and then. Um, they charge a lot when it comes to having to put everything back. There's also a storage closet in the back, but I think it's locked because we don't have all the keys yet. Um, they, of course, dropped off some, but they're still getting a hold of the other ones because there's something, we're having trouble with the resident portal. So the payment is still processing. So they only gave us one set of keys right now, but I'm, it's fine, I'm not worried. Um, I'm going to start unloading the car because there's so much stuff in the car and Callie has to bring some stuff back from work but I hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you want to see my journey here in Colorado and with the dogs and what we do with the place and I'm super duper excited um I hope y'all have a great day and I'll see y'all in my next one